The first question anybody asks and the first question anybody should ask when considering using a new technique or method is what benefit will be gained from doing so? If we already have data in a worksheet, what benefit would a pivot table provide? The easiest way to answer this question generically is to look at some sample data. Here we have some sample data. It's actually a very simple listing of sales records. It includes some general customer information, including first and last name. It also includes some basic account information, including the type of account, region, and name of the sales rep. Transaction-specific information includes the date an order was placed, the date it was filled, and the transaction amount. This is a fairly simple sales record with only 50 items, yet it still is complex enough that it becomes difficult to draw business conclusions from the data as we see it. We can certainly look at individual transactions, but if we were managers and we wanted to know information, for example, could we tell who our most productive sales reps are? Can we easily tell which type of accounts we either have the most of or that we're the most productive? The answer to all of those questions right now is no, we can't do that, at least not simply or quickly. If we want these answers from our data, we begin asking ourselves which features or tools in Excel will help us get it. One that may come to mind would be subtotals. By sorting the records by account type, for example, or by sales rep, we can easily insert subtotals to also give us a count of records and a sum of dollar amounts by those same fields. But if we wanted those answers first by account type and then by sales rep, we'd have to remove and reapply new subtotals because those questions revolve around two separate values found in the data. Subtotals simply aren't flexible enough to give us all of the answers we want easily and without having to go through a lot of steps. Well, okay. Thinking again about Excel, what about just regular old calculations then? We can certainly do some average and count calculations to our heart's content. They're not difficult. In this case, though, they also will not get us exactly the answers that we're looking for. We might know about database functions, and by doing a database function, for example, to count how many types of accounts each sales rep had, we would gain the same answers that we're looking for. But the management and maintenance of doing it this way would be tremendous. We would need to create the calculations for each and every sales rep. We'd also have to be sure that the sales reps, when they were hired and fired and transferred and all of that kind of good stuff, were always kept up to date and new calculations would need to be created. Again, this is only talking about sales reps. It doesn't address our need to also know about the types of accounts we have. We could also use some if functions, for example, sum if or count if but they're just about as time-consuming and cumbersome as well. This just really isn't the answer either. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with these tools. They certainly do have their time and their place. It's just not exactly what we're looking for. We need something that's going to be flexible. We need something that's going to be automated. We need something that's going to actually help us manage our data, not make more work for us. We need to be focusing on the data, not constantly trying to create and update and make sure that calculations are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And remember, all of this right now is just for 50 records. What happens if we have thousands or even a million records or so? We can see that what we're looking at so far is just not the best answer. This is exactly when we need to start thinking about pivot tables. Pivot tables provide exactly what we need. They give us the flexibility to rearrange, sort, and filter all without even touching the original source data or having to make multiple copies of it. In some ways, they automate our work because when a pivot table is refreshed, it will be based off of all of the current information without having to manually update or modify categories and groupings. This makes everything more manageable. So when should we use pivot tables? Well, there are several times when you'll find that they become very useful. When we're trying to query large amounts of data, when we're trying to aggregate data from multiple data sources. And all of this really comes about into summarizing data, often by categories. We can use pivot tables when we're interested in subtotaling numeric data and even creating custom calculations and formulas. Pivot tables also give us the ability to expand and collapse levels of data, maybe for different types of presentations to high level versus more detailed audiences. 
Pivot tables give us the ability to drill down to the details of summary data and see what underlies those summary calculations. And of course, its namesake means that we are good at rearranging or pivoting rows to columns and columns back to rows. So anytime we need to rearrange our data, a pivot table may be useful. Pivot tables make filtering data for specific purposes very easy. And we can also apply conditional formatting to values that meet certain criteria to draw attention to that data. And lastly, and maybe most overwhelmingly, pivot tables allow us to present concise, meaningful, attractive, easy to understand data. In short, pivot tables do three things. They simplify data by categorizing it by one or more fields. They compact it by taking out the redundancy and even allowing us to view values both across columns as well as down rows. And they summarize by providing calculations for the values we choose. And they do it all with just a few clicks and possibly a couple of drags across the screen. This is what pivot tables do and why we use them.